Okay, guys, I wanted to um, go over really quick for those of you that needed a refresher on how to do the edit to the beat. So you're going to find the song that you want, and it could be any song that you would like to use. Click on that song in iTunes, and then click and drag it up to this uh, top area. Click on the wheel and choose Clip Trimmer. You're going to come down here to the bottom, and if the song is really long, you can use these yellow bars to... Uh, choose where the song begins and choose where the song ends. Um, then you're going to start playing the song where uh, using your space bar. So I'm going to press the space bar. And then every time I hear a beat that I want to use, I'm going to press the M key. So I'm going to press the space bar. So every time you see one of these beat markers showing up, I'm pressing the M key. So that's how you add beat markers, by pressing the M key. Okay, so I'm going to stop it there, you get the point, and I'm going to press done. Now that I have all my beat markers, I'm ready to start using uh, my pictures. So I'm going to click on my camera so that iPhoto can come up. I'm going to choose the album that I created in iPhoto that has all my pictures in it that I want to use. And all the pictures should show up here in the order that I wanted them in. So if you don't have this part done, you need to open iPhoto and you need to drag all the pictures in that you want and then rearrange them in the order that you want. You can only do this inside of an album though. Uh, if you need help with that, let me know. So I'm going to click on the first picture. I'm going to do Command A and I'm going to click and drag up here so that it adds those pictures. Now I had 48 pictures in here and I know I didn't have 48 beat markers. So I'm going to have to do some uh, deleting of pictures whenever all of this uploads. So once it's finished, then you'll be able to see all the pictures will actually snap to those beat markers that we created using the M key. Okay, so you'll see here, none of mine have snapped to the beat marker. So I'm going to do Command Z to undo, and that's because in the view menu, I don't have snap to beats checked. So I'm going to click on snap to beats. I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to choose a few of my pictures because I know I don't need them all. I'm going to drag them up here. and now you'll see each one of those pictures has snapped to the beat. So once you're finished with this part and you have all of the beat markers filled, um, and you know how many beat markers to fill because when you go to the clip trimmer, it tells you down here at the bottom how many beat markers you have. So I have 28 beat markers. All right, so I'm gonna press done. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go uncheck snap to beats. I'm going to click on the title area. I'm going to drag a title to the beginning and I'm going to name it whatever I want the name of my edit to beat song to be. So I'm going to click on one of these backgrounds. I'm going to click on my song and drag it over to the very first picture because if I don't do that then all of the beats will be off. So I have to drag the song over to the very first picture so that everything snaps to the beat. And once I add this and change the title to what I want it to be I'm going to add a title at the end, and it's going to say a Kim Munoz production or something like that. And once I have that last uh, title completed, then uh, all I have to do is go to Share and Export uh, as HD to my desktop, and then I'm going to turn it in to uh, Edmodo. So you'll see that it just quit on me here. So, uh, But hopefully you got the point, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask.